Hello and welcome to The Weird One. This is just a short video showing you the Walking Dead buildable figures. These are the mystery bags, so you don't know what figure you're getting. Although you can choose from human or walker on the back. I got these again from Comics and Toys. And they were £2.95 each. They don't have an online store but if you facebook them they will send you these items if you don't mind paying postage which is what i did okay so i thought i would show you the packing this one has been opened it's got some cool artwork on the front and all the figures you can get from the hit tv show 10 plus and again the back with the figures you can get and it will either say human or walker on the back so that's a bonus depending on what you want I thought I would just show you how to make this one they're quite easy to make and inside is all the figures you can get like a checklist how to make it the set you can get so just cut the bag open and then you'll get lots and lots of tiny little pieces. Rick's head. Very small. And you just pop them together. Some of them are tougher than others. His legs are already done, but on some of them you have to put the legs on as well. The figures from series one I found harder to put in. And it actually hurt my finger pushing them in. But these ones I've noticed. They've allowed for a bigger. Section. So it can fit in easier. So these are a lot nicer to put together. Pop torso. Give it a wiggle. And as always they come with these little. Clear stands to help stand them up. So this is Rick. And they are posable. They are sometimes temperamental to stand up, but these aren't too bad. And we also have a female walker. This is a full set, by the way. She was a little temperamental to put together. Her torso wobbles, and I cannot fit it in, and it's really annoying me. And she has a bit of a strange paint job on there. On the mouth. The clothes look pretty good though. Some of these, the uh, clips to hold them in, open up. So you have to give them a bit of a squeeze, tighten them up again. Lay her down, it's easier. Then we have the blue walker. With his guts hanging out. Then adds. <laughs> Then we have one of my favourites, the Riot Gear Walker. I have to say the detail on these is extremely good for something so small. This in his hand, he's got his little mask on. I'm very impressed with that one, I like that one. As mentioned, some of these look, they will stand easier than others. And then we have, spoiler alert, a male zombie one. Which, again, the detail is excellent. Even down to his missing hand. And his face is really good. Then we have a burnt walker. I don't think you'd better see this, but it's really cool because it's like see-through orange plastic. And the detail, again, is... Oh my god, <laughs> amazing. Then we have another female walker, blonde hair. I love the blood detail on these. And then we have Tyrese with his hammer. Hammer in the morning. It's hammer time. Again with blood. His neck looks a bit funny there.
This one was the one that was really temperamental about standing up because the legs were already done for me and the weight kept tipping back. So the way I found round that is just turn the torso a little bit to help weight the front. See again that is temperamental. Okay, so he's he's really annoying to stand up, but when he's with the buildable sets he does have the stand. I can clip him onto something. So this one I think needs work on the legs. Maybe let us put our own legs on so we can weight him better. But yeah, this is the full set of series two buildable figures. I think you'll agree that some it's so small, they look great. There's a few standing problems, but that's pretty common with these figures. But they are easy to fix, except on ones where the legs are already done for us. But as mentioned, can be fixed by attaching it to one of the sets. The floors often have a little Lego piece you can slot it on. I look forward to putting these in some of the current Lego sets I have and look forward to getting more Lego sets. Feel free to comment below on your favourite figure. As mentioned, my favourite is the Riot Gear Walker. And I've always got a soft spot for Rick. And the Zombie Mail is really good. This one would have been my favourite, or one of my favourites. But because he won't stand up properly, he goes down the list. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.